a faint fleeting point of light appearing in the digital eye of the Atlas survey. It was our one last chance to track its drift before it faded forever. Dr. Maria Fuentes, leading the night shift, remembers the tension. Early calculations swung wildly between a distant comet and a potential hazard. But soon, the numbers settled. The object was unbound, inbound, and definitely an interstellar visitor. A path was mapped, a clock was set. What they found would rewrite the playbook on comets. Carbon dioxide completely dominates its atmosphere, or coma, outnumbering water vapor by nearly 8 to 1. For comparison, comets from our own solar system rarely have more carbon dioxide than water. Here, it's the main event. Even stranger, the first hints of water vapor appeared when the comet was still over 500 million kilometers from the sun. That's far beyond the distance where sunlight can normally vaporize water ice. This was in some slumbering relic. It was a body primed to react to the faintest touch of warmth. Images from telescopes on the ground and in orbit revealed a strange shape. A broad sunward-facing dust fan spreads out from the nucleus, suggesting that large porous grains were being thrown off with surprising efficiency. Behind it, a faint tail stretched away, almost invisible. This structure remained stable for weeks, defying the erratic outbursts we usually see from comets visiting our sun for the first time. The dust itself reddens the reflected light, a clear sign of organic-rich material. Every measurement just added to the puzzle. Then came the most baffling discovery of all. Clean, unmistakable spectral lines of nickel. But iron, nickel's usual partner in cometary dust, was completely missing. The ratio of nickel to iron is higher than in any comet ever recorded in our solar system. It's a chemical fingerprint that points to a truly alien origin. At the same time, the way the dust scattered light revealed another secret. The grains must be incredibly porous, like fluffy clusters of thousands of tiny particles loosely bound together. This wasn't a solid, compact object. It was more like a cosmic dust bunny, an alien object with a bizarre chemical mix and a fragile, fluffy structure journeying for eons through the interstellar dark. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this cosmic mystery, be sure to subscribe for more.